Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. So last episode we finally got ourselves all set up up in the north, which is that way. Got ourselves some uh, silver, aluminum, and cobalt being produced. Uh, sadly, there's some changes up ahead. I don't, I don't know if anybody's been following the Steam, uh, Steam forums or the news on Planet Nomads, but they are currently working on uh, version 0.9.8 in the experimental build. Uh, which brings some big changes. Uh, one of the changes is miners will, uh, ore deposits will actually deplete over time. I don't know if it's going to be a gradual thing or a sudden stop or if it's going to be like the entire vein itself or just localized spots. But needless to say, stationary miners are going to be a thing of the past, which brings up another thing we're going to do uh next episode we're going to actually start working on skylab i went ahead and blueprinted it from the the creative save i do have a blueprint for it uh, it's going to take a lot of resources to make but seeing as how we're not going to be able to have stationary mining areas and we're going to have to be on the, more or less on the move i figure since it is a functional build that's supposed to be for survivalists like you and me and everybody else It'd be a good time to good time uh, good time to build it. I'm sorry. Um, yes, but there's a few other changes too. There's going to be a change to the multi tool. We're going to be starting with with a survival tool, which is, or emergency tool, which is going to be using suit power only. Then once you go ahead and start making a Mark One and a Mark Two tools and uh, the armory here, uh, then you'll start. You'll only be able to use batteries. You won't be able to use the suit power for it. So if you don't have any batteries, then you can't use your multi tool. And yeah, that's kind of a downer, but uh, hey, uh, that just means we've got to get cut down more trees, get more biomass, get those batteries going, right? Uh, there's also a couple of new blocks they're adding. They're adding a mover tool, which would be able to actually allow you to move structures. For instance, like if I want to move my little my little base here, move it from here over to there, I can just use the mover tool and move it over. I haven't actually used it myself. Uh, I try to stay away from the experimental build because usually that means that there's things that need to be fixed. And then there is one other block to adding that's a thermal block, which is going to be a heat source for colder areas. And I'm not sure, but it might uh, might actually work as an air conditioner if you're in a like down over the lava fields or the desert area. But that we will find out in time. Uh, as you can see, I have done a few things around here. I've got a little more storage set up. I got basic cores here, basic cores here, and then usual stuff, right? overflow like rare stuff uh, northern stuff that's gonna be south another printer got some storage going I do have stuff being produced because today we are gonna make our first flyer now one of the things I wanted to do is I actually wanted to make a flyer that was oh, it's gonna get, get night soon but uh, basically a flyer that'd be used for like scanning the area and the first thing that came to my mind was well why don't we just make a big giant bat like I did with uh, the dragon and then I started thinking, well, well the bat wing, you know, it's been, I'm sure it's been overdone many times. Well, Batman's got the bat wing. Well, how about BC have the bat, the rat wing? Sorry, it's uh, been an off day, off week, usual stuff for me. But anyways, uh, yes, this is going to be a flying rat. It's not going to be an actual pigeon like most flying rats are, but it's going to be sort of a revisit of Lucy from season season one uh, big giant rat I had but this time it's going to be sort of like a transformer where the sides are going to open up and it's going to be powered by air blades since we have a lot of silver going through now it's time to build something like this I have been thinking about how I want to build it it's going to be more or less built around the scanner the radar the radar is five blocks high six blocks wide six blocks this way and there's going to be a clamshell that opens up now when you turn the flight mode on so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with white and i think i might do a different type of rat i'm not going to do the standard white with red eyes i'm gonna do white with uh you know uh, white and brown sort of speckled is it rain or am i getting like yeah it's raining of course it's the morning anyway so let's go and start building so i'm thinking about my frame here uh, it's going to be built all on evens, which is going to be quite interesting. So what, at, what I want to do is the size is going to be four air blades. And then I'm going to have or four blades each. And then I'm going to have four air blades at the bottom because I don't really know how heavy it's going to be and if I'm going to have enough room to do it or uh, enough lift. But let me get a basic frame set up here and then we'll bring you back and we'll continue on. 
Another thing I forgot, I did, and I forgot to mention this, is actually set up a water pump over there. So we do have water being produced. I went ahead and made a whole bunch of fresh water because I was actually going to make a refinery and start getting some deuterium going. Because you probably see the deuterium generator on my hotbar. Well, that is because we're going to be going deuterium powered. Uh, just because it's weight, more or less weight. Uh, deuterium generator, the small one, does 1800 eh, 1800 uh, watts, which would be more than enough power to power the wheels and the 12 air blades that we're going to be using. And deuterium is 20 water, so I'm going to have to get some more refining, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you that. Okay, so here's uh, the basic frame here. So what's going to happen is I'm actually going to have the rotating plates up here, and this is where the hinge points are going to be for We'll call them the doors, the clamshells, uh, the wings, if you want to call them that. Uh, is that actually going to work? I think here. Yes, we're going to have to have a bit of a gap. I am going to build this upwards, build it in the open position, so then that way I'll be able to work it out a little bit better. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to have a gap here, like so. And that way it just has room to go through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually be having air blades along here. So that's going to be three, four, five, six. That'll be three there. Go th three in the back and one in the front. Go another three. So that'll be three air blades here. Like so. I don't have any frames on me, but yeah. So one, two, three. And on the other side, we'll put the uh, uh, final air blade. One, two, three. And the other air blade goes here. There's going to be uh, probably not going to be any cover uh, like a se section on the bottom. If anything, uh, it, I'm sorry. Yeah, my tongue doesn't want to cooperate today. But anyways, what I was saying is down at the what I was trying to say is at the bottom I put some slopes here, and the reason why I have the slopes down here is because I want to have uh, we'll call it the clamshell. I want to have the clamshell to be actually the up outer exterior of the the rat wing we'll call it and I just want to make sure that it doesn't actually bind to this it is technically a separate grid as you can tell by uh, the center mass that is separate from this so it should not connect but just in case it does at least it's there oh yeah that's uh, that's the other rotating plate there but yeah so that is that so let me get this done and the other side done I'll bring you back okay so there's what we have I'm just looking at my positioning here. Originally, I was going to put the air blades here and here on the bottom. I was going to put the four at the bottom just to help out. But I'm looking at where my air blades are going to be up here. And I'm going to put that in now. Uh, oh, yeah, this has to be covered up a little bit more, too. Hmm. Maybe we'll do. Yes, let's... Uh, I'm going to do this now. Actually, no. We'll be okay. We'll just have to work around it. So, it's going to be four air blades on either side. Uh, these are going to be doing the most of the lift, the, the directional and the steering. And then... And then the ones down here. I'm thinking about now. Maybe we'll put two here and two in the back. These ones here are going to be just for support, just for extra lift, because this might end up being a little bit heavier with the extra blocks, just to get a little bit of detail in. And that is like so. Oh, I'm going to try to use lighter blocks when I can. Try to keep the weight down below. And that is going to be our main flight mechanic. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building around this and try to get some sort of body around it. Am I out of those things already? I guess I am. I'll have to make some more. But yeah, for this, I'm thinking what I might do is I might just build right off of here. Actually, if we do that, and then like that, and like that. And then I'll be able to come across and not have to worry about covering the air blades because the air blades do technically need uh, one block of sp space between them. 
with the exception of what I'm doing here because it's on a separate grid. If I have if I build it on here and it, I drop it down and the air blade actually touches another block, it's going to be okay. In, in fact, I can actually build here. Actually, that's a bad example. I'll do that. Do it here. And because this is on a separate grid than this one, I can actually, believe it or not, build here. It's a little workaround I figured out. And I learned that when I was working on the, the walkers. So that is that. Of course, it's raining. I did sleep away in the morning. So, uh, yeah, so that is going to be the clamp, the shell, and then it's going to come around the back here. Uh, I want to have some sort of exit to be able to get in and out without actually having a, having a door. So what I might do... And you know what? I just realized something. The tail's going to be off center now. Because I'm building on evens, not odds. Because the scanner is an even number for some stupid reason. But we'll have to figure that out when the time comes. But let me get a few more things together. I'll start getting the, the outside of this done on both sides. And I'll bring you back with hopefully some better weather and some better results. Okay, I am back, and I've got it done. It is also the next day for me, in case you're wondering. Uh, unfortunately, nobody said getting old is easy, and needless to say, I'm not getting any younger. So, anyways, uh, this is what I have here so far. I've been uh, sort of thinking of a few things. Oh, that and a uh, weak jetpack. Uh, what i got to do is I actually have to set up some stops to make sure that this doesn't open up too far, because right now it's... It's locked in place, but when I go and lift up, the clamshell is actually going to lift up to the point where it pinches, which shouldn't matter because of stabilization on the air blades. But what I want to do before I continue on is I actually want to unlock this and just see how well it fits. And I believe yes. So we'll unlock that. And sits lower than I thought it would. Ah, yes. That's why. Because I need to put a little little block on let's put it right over here just add something to stop from binding just a couple of blocks and then we'll check it out i do have a save so i can always load up a save to the point where they're actually open and you can see that the air blades are gonna move on their own so let's see how this one does and that one does a little bit better uh, needless to say the hit boxes on these things aren't perfect and I think I can actually get one more block in there. So let me load the save. And we'll try it again. And something I'm trying to wonder is, if you're going down with a jetpack, should it really be using fuel? should technically be using less fuel, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, that's the wrong hotbar. So let's try this again. We'll put two blocks here. And just see how it holds up. I'm trying to keep this build somewhat small and lightweight because, well, it does have to fly. Now, let's stay out of the way so I don't get hit in the head. We'll drop it down and see how it looks. And that's better. That is better. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but it, from my experience, it shouldn't. But we should be good to go. So now I'm going to load up the save uh, again, and we'll I'll probably put something like this on the other side, and we'll continue on. Alright, so I'm going to try something here. Uh, this should technically work. Uh, my biggest issue is uh, the blocks binding to each other. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some small blocks and I'm starting here. i got to avoid this hinge part here because uh, this does technically have two square hitboxes. So if I have a block here, it will not rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up this way. Now, I've got the build vision on because I need to pay attention to the center mass of the, the clamshell. So it's 2806. Now, what I need to do is I need to put a slope here, but I want to make sure that it doesn't actually connect to this side. And it still says 2806, so that's good. So let's fill this in. Now, theoretically, when I lift up the air blades, or lift up the clamshell, that it should stop right here. And... Uh, I don't know if any of you have actually noticed this, but if you look carefully, you can see the break in the texture. You've got this line here that lets me know that this block here is separate from this block here. Uh, if you get the textures connecting, then you've got blocks connecting. All right, with that being said, I'm going to take the build vision off, do a save, and then we'll test it out with some power. 
Okay, I got some power all set up to it. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to get a cockpit on here so I can actually pay attention to it opening and closing. I'm just going to put it somewhere where it's not going to hurt me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put a good old planty stick out this way. Just a little bit. Just so I'm st out of harm's way. And let's see if we can actually do this. Let's see if I can stand on a one board. Oh, is this thing three? I guess we're going to have to go with the, the internal cockpit then. Uh, hang on, I need glass. Actually, I just switched over to the, the interior cockpit that I was going to go with in the first place. Because uh, that's actually two. And I don't actually need glass for it. So these are all powered. Uh, they just need fuel. I got everything connected. I have some deuterium made. Uh, I'm not worried about wasting this because I do have a save file. Oh yes, we got to turn it on. And let's drop this. Drop this. And let's hop in here. Now let's see if this actually works. It'd be nice if it was actually a little lighter. Okay, so it stops. And then I hit control and it goes down. Now the other side is stuck. There we go. And it lifts up. And that's exactly how I want it to go. Let's zoom out a little bit. It's unfortunately dark out so I can't see anything. My flashlight doesn't work while I'm in here. But there we go. That's exactly what I want. And as long as it continues to open and close and not get stuck, that's all that matters. Uh, it does seem a little heavy, but I do have the four other air blades down there to help out. So, all right, so now that I got my mechanics all set up, now it's time to actually get the body all worked out. Now it's always, damn you Unity, don't you start. Uh, but it's always good to build, uh, build your builds around your mechanics instead of the other way around because you're always going to need room for it. Just like in Minecraft, you always build around your redstone, not try to build your redstone inside your build because it never works out. Uh, I will be putting the scanner in last just because uh, weight purposes. I will not have to, I'm not going to be worried about the air blades touching it just because it's a separate grid. So now i got to try to get this looking somewhat like a rat. It's looking more like a torpedo than anything right now. But that's okay, because uh, Lucy, she wasn't meant to fly, so it didn't matter how she looked. But this one here, I will have to keep this one block gap all the way around just for clipping issues. So now i got to try to get some sort of shell around this and have it looking half decent. At the same time, too, not being as heavy as a truck. So I'm going to go ahead and get my zoom out a little bit. I'm going to try to co copy this curve the best I can and see where it goes and it should be okay so let me uh do a little bit of block place in here and i'll bring you back when i have something worthy to brag about or at least something that looks half decent so give me a moment okay so i've got it done uh, i did the best i could with the blocks that i have it's kind of hard to make things look contoured and round when everything slopes in one and two blocks uh there, it is kind of questionable but Considering what it is, it is what it is. And there it is. So there is my rat. Or my, my re rat wing. Right. Yes. Uh, the tail does look kind of questionable. It was originally going to be brown. That was even more questionable. Uh, because I've got this built on twos, I can't use the hinges like I wanted to. So uh, if I did do the hinges, it would be on one side. It would make it sort of lean to one side. I thought about sort of zigzagging all the way, but, you know, again, it would still be the weight would be on this side and it would kind of cause some issues. But that is what we have. So now, I'll go up to the front here. I'll just show you the little thing that I did. Like, doing the face part was really difficult. And I see I missed the block. And let us do that while I'm here. That one right there. And I got that, one, that hot bar. And over here. And I'm going to go back to white with this. Like so. That's the wrong button. There we go. Alright, so I got some so called whiskers. It could look better, it could look worse, but eh, we'll see how it goes. There's some teeth on there too. I might have to knock those puppies out if uh, the wheels become a bit of an issue. So now what I want to do is uh, I know I do have this here, so it's going to affect my center of balance or center of mass. But I want to see where my main mass is. So my main mass is right here. This is before the generator. Uh, my air blades are centered here. 
and that's including the ones at the bottom. So when I put the the generator, the radar, when I put the radar in, I want to have the that center of mass to move to about here, and that should be able to do it. Uh, Got to get in here, go in here, and try to get in here somehow. I do have an opening to get in. When I get in and out of the cockpit, I do end up underneath. So hopefully, I don't get crushed by this thing. Let me get that out of my face so I can see where I'm going. Hopefully, I don't get crushed by it when, uh, when I get out. See, yeah, I get out. I do have room on the side, so I'm wondering if it's because I don't have that filled in. But when I get out, I end up underneath. So maybe we'll actually go to this hot bar and we'll put a couple in here and see if that actually does anything. Because I'd like to be able to go out this hole here instead of being just teleported right underneath it. Just because I am in survival and, uh, yeah, anything and everything can kill me. Well, at least I'm off the side a little bit. Uh, we'll figure that out later. Like I said, if it kills me, then we'll deal with it. So now i got to get up in here and see if we can get that radar on there. Now, from what I've seen, no, oh, you're not going to go on. Ooh. Aha. So now we have an issue. Now it's a matter of me actually powering this thing up and opening up the doors so I can place that. So I'll go ahead and put uh, yield generator. And put it right where I had it before. I wonder if I should. Because the, uh, the radar is only 2,000 two ton, 2,000 pounds, and this is off. Okay, well, we're going to have to do it this way then. Do it like that. And let me grab some parts. All right, I got, I got it all built. I got some, uh, picked up some deuterium as well. So now, uh, switch boards. And of course, well, oh, okay, it's closed. Uh, we're going to build up build evenly just because uh, it doesn't really matter what color is what we will have the main power is red and then we'll go ahead and we connect it all Let's get out of there uh, for the time being i am just going to connect this up to not to those ones to the the clamshell okay there's four there and there. Grab these three here. Do do do. All right. So now, throw some power in there. Let's see if we can actually get this thing to open up. Perfect. Now I can get out. And now we can actually get the the radar in there. And it doesn't look like it's going to lift it, but. That's what the other four down here are for. If I need to stick another pair up front or even in the back, I can. So now we got to get this big old radar dish in here. Oh. Helps if it's facing the right way. Okay, let's go like that. We'll make it... Sure. We'll make it red. It'll be the heart of the beast. All right, now I gotta actually get centered with this thing now. Really, it is five? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I thought it was six. Oh god, I counted wrong. Go figure. Hmm. Well, I'm not rebuilding it. I'm not rebuilding it. I'm figured out. I have to throw a second one in here. All right, let's see what that did with the mass. Yeah, I did bring it forward a little bit. But what I can do, just because I don't like how this is... How it was actually an odd number, not an even number, and I could have sworn I had counted it because I had built it in the base. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah, radar. Radar, 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 radar. And I passed it. All right, well, this is going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those things. Let me get, do this off camera, and I'll bring it back. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. I had, uh, 
as you can see open up the back end a little bit just to get a little more room in the trunk here for the second scanner uh, I was able to move the center of mass back significantly so that's not too bad the extra blocks there will help as well so as you can see we're slightly forward uh, I'm gonna put another pair of air blades here which I'm probably gonna do but I think I need to make a few more circuits yes I am um, seven circuits short and so that's basically it I I locked those hinges too, so I or those rotating plates, so I could turn the power off, and we'll see. Save the old jennies. But what I need to do now is we gotta get some suspension on here. Some spit, some wheels, big old wheels. Now I'm probably just gonna stick them right here. One. And it doesn't really matter the spacing in the back. And we'll just go. Not there, cause the air blades. Hmm. Well, then I guess we're going to have to go here then. If I can get it. Let's see how that looks. Uh, might be a little too much. Let us move it somewhere else. Because I got these air blades here. That's the problem. Unless I have the, them right at the back. Which might not look terrible. It's supposed to be a flyer. Yeah, not gonna look out too work out too well, I think. Let's see. Eh, it'll work. Sure. It's not like we have retractable landing gear or a place to even retract it. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm using the large suspension instead of the small suspension, just because it's a heavy vehicle. We are currently at twenty tons on the main frame as it is. Plus whatever's up top. Which makes me wonder if this thing's even going to fly. Alright, well, let's find out. I'm getting that jitteriness again. I, I'm starting to think it might be something to do with my computer, and I have no idea what it is. I'm just going to blame Windows for being a resource hog. Now, let's see if I can actually get the wheels on there. Nope, that's not a wheel. Oh, that's a wheel. Ooh. Uh, that could be a problem. I might have to. Yeah, we could replace that with something else. That kind of worries me. All right, because I didn't see it drop. Big time jitteriness. Alright, let me get these out. And I'll put the wheel on. Because I know the wheel's supposed to drop, but I know it's so it's pretty high, close to the ground, too. I wasn't really paying attention for that drop. Come on, where are you? Snap on there. Okay, that did drop. Alright, that was good. The other one didn't drop, though, so I think it's because I had that up there might have touched the block as you will yes I still gotta make more batteries so I always forget okay that one actually dropped yes all right that's that side that means I gotta I have to shave off this too sure I made enough modifications to this thing already. I don't think a few more blocks is going to make a big of a difference. All right. Uh, let me get the other wheels on, and I'll bring you back when I've got the other air blades on as well. And then we'll take her for a test flight. Yeah, that block's in the way. So, yeah, give me a moment. Now, okay, we should be ready to go. i got a second, uh, another set of air blades in there, and I'm really hoping this is going to be enough to lift this thing. Uh, so what I need to do is, first we got to configure the air blades. I think all of them are going to be directional. So we'll go ahead and change that to directional and directional and do this either all 16 of them or 14 in this case. Oh, uh, it's not going to work because I have them side mounted. Those ones are. 
actually they're end mounted these are side mounted so we can go like that oh like that uh, I'm gonna re rebuild these ones so they're sideways so I can use them as well so give me a moment to get everything configured so we are technically good to go uh, everything is all powered I uh, got enough power to run everything the only question is is, is it gonna actually survive so I am gonna do a quick save just in case something goes wrong and uh, first we're gonna unlock these slam be nice if there's a creaking with a like a metal door slamming sound all right we are good so now are we gonna have a satellite what the hell must be stuck in a hole I have the suspension up pretty high tight on these so let us see what happens shall we um actually i gotta reconfigure this because i got this power and everything i want to have this uh, just for the air blades so let me take care of that okay we seem to be good to go so i recolored the switches i have the blue one for the flight mode the brown one for uh, the main power on the wheels and i have put a switch terminal on here and label them so we'll be able to see that we'll hop in here bring up the terminal we'll go to switchboards flight mode main wheels that's our main power and of course that actually turns off the switchboard too yeah all right uh, i gotta fix that uh, it's a good thing that wheels don't actually use power when you're not actually using them so let me just go ahead and turn that back on let's try that again shall we all right so first question is does it move it does drive very slowly I have a feeling we're touching blocks. I have it set the torque mode too, so that is why. So now we bring up the terminal and engage flight mode. Let's see if it actually lifts up. Not quite. It's a little on the heavy side. So that means we've got to add some more air blades. And I think, you know, that's right, we have a parking brake now. <laughs> Get out of here, and I'm going to have to sneak some more air blades in here somewhere. Not sure where, but then we'll find them. I'm thinking probably put a couple of blocks here, stack them in here. I'll figure it out. Okay, I put four more air blades on here. We'll see what happens. If it comes down to it, I might actually have to take the wheels off because the wheels and the suspension are two and a half tons as it is. I had to throw a second generator on there too just because just because we don't have the power. No, we don't. All right. Uh, oh, that's right. I turned the wheels off. That's right. I was wondering why the, the rings weren't lit up. So let us try this again. So, driving, we are driving, good, let's turn on flight mode, okay, and then we'll get out of here and see what happens. And it's almost enough, it's almost enough, the front end's too heavy, <laughs> who would have thought, huh? So now I gotta... Let's get let's ha get outside and have a look at the center mass. Hey, look, I'm inside now. Perfect. I wonder if that had to do with me being in third person when I got out, because I know a lot of these things have to do with uh, the way the, where the camera is. Uh, I like the camera in third person. If you go underwater like this with the camera, you get wet even though you're outside, and I think you might actually suffocate too. But let's see where our center of mass is. So it's these ones here that are causing it. Uh, what I could do, actually no, I gotta go back, hmm, I just think I have all that weight in the back there too, I really don't want to cut his t nose off, 
You can always extend the tail a little bit. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Alright, now we go into here, we grab these. Now it's not going to take much because we're getting so far away from the center of mass. So if I go like four, it's actually going to make quite the difference. I know, I'm sure there's some sort of calculation you can do to figure out how much weight you need depending on how far away you are. And I don't know if you noticed, but you can already see the back end coming down a little bit just from the extra weight that I put on there. So this should work out. Uh, mind you, I'm no engineer, never even graduated school. Most of what I know, I learned from television, believe it or not. Ye old idiot box, huh? Mind you, when I was a kid, I was like a sponge for knowledge. Being like nine years old and watching shows on nuclear fusion and the, the works. Anyway, let's see if this is enough. It should be. Oh, yeah. I gotta admit, these new big suspension are a lot more reliable than they used to be. Because you wouldn't be able to build on them while... See, now it's too heavy. So, what we're going to do... Well, what I'm going to do... Is we're taking those wheels off. Oh. The air blades are stopping me from getting outside. Let's actually turn this off so I'm not wasting fuel. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take these wheels off and I'll replace it with some stubby little legs. And this is where the magic of this game comes in. Because as long as we have it connected to the ground, I can go ahead and take these off and nothing's going to happen to my vehicle as long as I'm attached to the right part, which is the main frame. If I connect it to this, then the whole thing would topple down. So this will only take a second. So let's, uh, let's not be underneath it while I'm removing parts. It's like when you're working on a car. If you've got a stubborn bolt you got to take off and you have it up on a jack, don't climb underneath it and start and just like pulling on the damn thing because you'll pull that jack right off and you'll kill yourself. Ugh. I forgot to make batteries again. Yeah, I had a feeling those were going to be too heavy. I just don't know why I kept on using them. Alright, so let's... Uh, hmm. Actually, let's already have them on the hot bar here. Uh, yes, there we go. Go with these ones, give them little brown feet. And if I can get the right position, there we go. Do that. And that. Like that. And like so. Nope, that's the wrong way. Like so. I was going to put the long slopes on, long corners on, but I think I'll go with uh, these ones. Just because we're already high up as it is. And that. And that one. Looks like the air blazer is still turning there. Right how they probably were. Alright, stand up. Finish this up. I'm sure that shaved a lot of weight off. Alright, this big rat's got some tiny feet. Little claws. That's hilarious. Now I have a problem. I can't actually get inside. Oh wait, can I? Aha. But I can't get out. Or can I? I wonder if I can get out here. Nope. All right, well, we're going to have to open up the sunroof a little bit. I hope I'm actually taking out the blocks I'm looking at and not an air blade that just happens to be in the way. All right, so we have a sunroof. Fair enough. Whatever works. All right, so now we got to open up the terminal. I probably could have just gotten out and turned around and turned it on. All right, and we'll get out of that. And let's see if we actually lift off the ground now. We do, but eh, we got some sticking issues now. Uh oh, uh oh. Eh, she's not a happy rat. No, sorry. Uh oh.
See, now we have the issue of it being top heavy. So how do we fix that? We get out and we put some heavy weights on the bottom. Now, unfortunately, I have some heavy weight, but it just happened to be inside. And the only thing I can really think of to do this is let's get some skids on here. These are some heavy blocks for their size. I'm not, don't be difficult. Thank you. And one more here, please. Thank you. And take another one here. Eventually. No, because I put the feet on backwards. Ha ha ha. Alright. Let's quickly fix this. And I'll do this off camera. Still not quite enough. I'm wondering if there's any other places I could hide some air blades. This is actually even more challenging than I thought. I guess I could put one here. If I have the materials for it. Let's find out. Because I just need it for lift. Nothing more. I was putting the skids on. This thing started rolling on me. I started freaking out. Alright. Now please tell me I have everything I need. Uh, more than likely, no. Yes. So, uh, let me... Let me see if I can get this worked out off camera. Okay. Those two air blades were just enough. As soon as I powered them, I started lifting up. It's not the most stable thing in the world. I would have liked to keep the wheels on it, but sadly that's not going to work. Uh, just because of the weight, I'd need quite a few wheels to get this to move with the small wheels. So it's just going to be a little ground rat for now. So let us go ahead and turn on and take it for a flight, shall we? Takes a second for the doors to open, and they are not opening for some reason. There we go. Am I on? Where's that other door? That's what I'm talking about. The block sticking. Even. Whoa. Let's see if we can get this right. Uh, this is so awkward. Oh, how I wish it was a pitch and roll button keybinding and stuff like that. I don't know why the other door. Why it's sticking. Come on, you were opening before. Oh, let's slam it down. Try it again. See, now it opens. But now the other one doesn't. And we're getting that roll because that stupid radar. There, now we have an upside down flying rat. Oh, it's still rolling. Maybe I can force the roll. I know I can go to the terminal and actually fix it. Yeah, this is the whole top-heavy thing, right? Because the center mass is technically here. Well, it's actually a little bit higher. So when doors are closed, it wants to roll. Not much I can really do about it at this point, unless I uh, reconfigure the air blades and do a roll with it. Well, let's see if we can hop back in here and see if we can do something with it at least. No one, no one said being a mad scientist was easy. I tell you that. Fact of the matter is, I have a, I have a flying rat. It's upside down, but it's a flying rat. The only question is, can I make it to the equator with this thing? And I know why I'm having problems. I forgot to configure one of the air blades properly. Oh, am I getting that roll proper? No, I'm not. No, yeah, it was one of these. I forgot to set directional on it. Well, I think we're going to have to call this one here. This is pretty much it. Like, I'm sure I could stick some more posts on the, the legs there. Let's actually try that. I don't think it's going to work out too well, though. Because it's going to get too heavy to actually move now. But we'll try just for argument's sake. We go like this, we go like that. And make it brown like the other one. And watch it roll. Oh, 
There we go. There's the roll. I see you. Don't go anywhere yet. Let me finish that up. And it's kind of stupid because I just put the weight back on that I took off with the wheels. But it's writing itself. At least doing it this way, the center of mass is going to be lower than if I had the wheels. Let's give it some room. Let it do let it let it do its thing. Come on, open up. Open up. Show me your goodness. There you go. Alright. It flies at least. Oh, but I can't. Oh, this is a good. Oh. Saved it. Alright. Let's get back up there, shall we? I know I can engage hover mode, let it build up a little bit. Yeah, she took some damage from that fall. Alright, slow and steady, slow and steady. There we go, alright. That actually flies pretty good, I have to admit, I'm surprised. Try to gain some altitude with this thing. Now, I do believe I have enough on me to make a miner. And let me uh, bring up my miner here. Okay, okay, okay. And not okay. I have to go back and get some frames. Or uh, SC electronic parts. But I think we're going to call the episode here. We finally got our, our friendly little rat flying. Uh, I think next episode we're gonna we're gonna head off to the south. We're gonna get some xanite going because I want to start getting things ready for Skylab next episode. But Skylab already has a bunch of conveyor connectors, which means I am gonna need xanite to make conveyor connectors so we can get that build going. Uh, so far, the current requirements are with something like I think it's somewhere around like. 2,500 frames and 1,500 plates. Uh, a lot of circuits, a lot of composites because, you know, I got all those solar panels where the mining rigs are going to be. So, yeah. Uh, this is... It was a challenge. I can admit that it turned out the way I wanted it to. I would have liked to have some wheels on it, but... Uh, yeah, needless to say, weight was a bit of an issue. I probably could put the wheels back on now. But even then, it was pretty slow without the wheels. But there we have it. We have uh, the rat wing. The latest. Let's see if I can get a nice shot with these wings open. Come on. No, 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 no. Just want those open. There we go. All right, there we have it. That is uh, the rat wing. Only latest from DCP Labs. That's not the button I wanted. Of course not. Okay. Anyways, that's going to be it. Uh, I'll probably put this one up at the workshop for you guys a little later. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.